In a small, picturesque town nestled between rolling hills, there lived a farmer named Samuel. He was the embodiment of kindness and humility, earning him the reputation of being one of the kindest souls in the community. His heart was as vast as the open sky, and his actions spoke volumes about his character. Samuel had a deep-rooted belief that the universe rewarded good deeds with good fortune. He had always been a beacon of hope for others, demonstrating that kindness was the way to lead a fulfilling life. However, one fateful day, Samuel's life took an unexpected turn. It was a sunny morning when he received a call that would shatter his peaceful existence. The voice on the other end of the line delivered the heart-wrenching news that his wife, Shirley, had been involved in a terrible car accident. Rushing to the hospital, Samuel's mind was filled with a tumultuous whirlwind of emotions, fear, sorrow, and disbelief. As he stood in the sterile hospital hallway, Samuel clung to the belief that good people deserve good things, that the universe would not allow such a tragedy to befall his beloved Shirley. But as he entered the ICU, reality crashed over him like an icy wave. Shirley lay unconscious, her face pale and bruised, connected to an array of machines that were keeping her alive. Samuel felt his knees weaken, and he sunk into a nearby chair, praying for her recovery. Days turned into weeks, and Samuel's faith began to waver. He wondered why such a terrible misfortune had befallen his family. He had always strived to do good, to be a beacon of kindness in his community. Yet, here he was, watching his wife's life hang in the balance, and he couldn't understand why. Desperate for answers, Samuel turned to the town's wise old man, Mr. Johnson, who was known for his profound wisdom and spiritual insight. Samuel approached Mr. Johnson with a heavy heart and asked, Why do bad things happen to good people, Mr. Johnson? I have always tried to live a good life, to help others, and to be kind. Why has this tragedy befallen my family? Mr. Johnson regarded Samuel with a knowing look and motioned for him to sit down. Samuel, he began. The question you're asking has been asked by countless people throughout history. It's a question that has no easy answers, but I will share with you what I believe. He continued, Life, my dear friend, is a complex tapestry of events and circumstances, interwoven by the threads of our choices and the unpredictable nature of the world around us. Why your goodness and kindness undoubtedly have a positive impact on those around you, they do not grant you immunity from the hardships of life. Goodness is a light that shines in the darkness, but even the brightest light can cast shadows. Samuel listened intently, absorbing Mr. Johnson's words. You see, Mr. Johnson continued, the universe operates on its own principles, and sometimes, Events occur that are beyond our control. Bad things happen not because good people deserve them, but because life is inherently unpredictable. We must remember that goodness is not a guarantee against suffering, it is a way to navigate through it. Samuel left Mr. Johnson that day with a heavy heart, still grappling with the idea that bad things could happen to good people without reason. He returned to the hospital every day sitting by Shirley's bedside, hoping for a miracle. Doctors came and went, providing updates that offered little solace. Samuel found himself questioning the fairness of it all, why someone as kind and loving as Shirley should suffer. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink, Samuel found himself deep in thought by Shirley's bedside. He was holding her hand, whispering words of love and encouragement, when he noticed a nurse nearby. The nurse, Sarah, had been caring for Shirley since the accident and had grown fond of the couple. Sarah approached Samuel gently and said, You know, Mr. Samuel, I have been watching you every day, and I can't help but admire your strength and love for Shirley. 
I believe that your goodness has made a profound impact on her recovery. Your unwavering faith and love have given her the will to fight. Samuel was moved by Sarah's words. It was a glimmer of hope in the darkness that had surrounded him. He realized that while he couldn't control the events that had led to Shirley's accident, he could control his response to them. His kindness and love were not in vain, they were a source of strength for both him and his wife. Weeks turned into months, and Shirley's condition gradually improved. Samuel and Sarah became close friends, united by their love for Shirley and their shared belief in the power of kindness. They witnessed firsthand the slow but steady progress of recovery, and it reinforced their faith in the goodness of the human spirit. One sunny morning, as the birds sang outside the hospital window, Shirley opened her eyes. Samuel was by her side, tears of joy streaming down his face. It was a moment of profound gratitude and affirmation. Shirley's recovery was a testament to the power of love, faith, and the indomitable spirit of good people facing adversity. In the months that followed, Samuel and Shirley emerged from the shadow of tragedy stronger than ever. They continued to live their lives guided by the principles of kindness and compassion, knowing that while they couldn't control the unpredictable nature of the world, they could control how they responded to it. Samuel learned that bad things could indeed happen to good people, not as a punishment or a reflection of their character, but as a reminder of the unpredictable nature of life. Through their journey, Samuel and Shirley discovered that goodness and kindness were not shields against hardship but sources of strength to endure and overcome it. As time passed, their small town came to see Samuel and Shirley as living examples of resilience and the enduring power of love. Their story became a testament to the age-old question of why bad things happen to good people, reminding everyone that why life's challenges could be inexplicable, the way one responds to them could make all the difference. Thank you.